Welcome to TPM Vids Disney Beat, where we talk about all things Disney. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. We also have Instagram and Twitter. You can find us at TPM Videos. Now, audio animatronics are one of the things that makes the rides and attractions of Disney theme parks distinctly Disney. These impressive figures help tell a story and allow you to become fully immersed into the environment of each attraction. Now, we did a video a couple months ago talking about the top 10 must-see animatronics at Walt Disney World, where we talked a little bit about the history of audio animatronics and focused on a lot of the major animatronics at the resort. Well, you all really seem to enjoy that video, so we're back with a part two because there's many more animatronics worth mentioning. Actually, a lot of these could be considered animatronics that are easily missed or overlooked by a lot of people on trips to Walt Disney World for a variety of reasons. Now, just because they may be overlooked or missed, doesn't mean these animatronics aren't as impressive and lifelike as the others. They definitely are. So today, we're gonna be counting down the top 10 must-see, commonly missed, animatronics at Walt Disney World Part 2. Number 10, Stitch. We're starting this list off in Magic Kingdom's Tomorrowland at Stitch's Great Escape. It's commonly deemed as being one of the worst attractions at Walt Disney World, but pretty much the only good thing about it is the Stitch animatronic. Coming in at just over three feet tall, Stitch is an impressive A100 figure and was reportedly one of the most complex figures of his size built by Imagineering when the attraction opened in 2004. He can blink his eyes, move his ears, and appears to rotate and walk around his platform. Now, as of recently, the attraction has been put on seasonal status, and it was rumored that January 7th, 2018 was the last and final day for Stitch's Great Escape, closing it forever. But Disney has still kept the attraction on their site, so it looks like the Stitch animatronic isn't quite extinct just yet and might be around for a little while longer just in case they need to reopen it again. So for the reason that you may never be able to see Stitch ever again, he's taken the number 10 spot. Number 9, Figment. Next, we're gonna head off into the Imagination Pavilion in Future World at Epcot, where it's home to journey into imagination with Figment. Now there's three main Figment animatronics on the ride, but the two major animatronics are in the Sound Lab and at the end of the Smell Lab. It's much more fun! Although these figures may not be the most advanced animatronics Disney has built, and their movements are pretty basic, they're pretty significant when you look at Disney Park history. The current version of the ride is actually the third incarnation. Fans weren't too pleased with the previous 1999 to 2001 version since it hardly featured Figment at all. Disney fans were very vocal, made their voice heard, and Disney quickly overhauled and reopened the ride once again in June of 2002 to include Figment. Now, although it might not be the most popular attraction at Epcot currently, it's definitely still worth checking out since Figment is such an iconic character to Epcot. Number 8. The Country Bears Heading back to Magic Kingdom, we're gonna move into Frontierland to take a look at the Country Bear Jamboree. The show opened on October 1st, 1971, as one of the original attractions at the park, and features 18 bear audio animatronics. Now, although it doesn't appear that the animatronics have been replaced since its opening, they were reprogrammed and received new fur and updated costumes in a refurb in 2012. Today, the animatronics hold up very well considering they're over 45 years old. Characters like the show's host, Henry, Welcome to the one and only original country bear Jamboree. As well as Trixie, Ernest, and Liverlips all come right to life. It's a classic attraction at Walt Disney World, and if you're a fan of animatronics, take 10 minutes out of your day and check out the awesome country bears. Number 7. Sebastian. Staying in Magic Kingdom, we'll head over to Under the Sea Journey of the Little Mermaid in Fantasyland. Now this ride is home to many animatronics, including the impressive Ursula figure. But one animatronic character that's easy to overlook is Sebastian. The character does appear five times in the ride, but because he's so small and with so much action happening around him, he's easy to miss, but equally impressive because of his size. The figure does utilize projected eyes to further enhance his expressiveness, and the rest of his movements are fairly fluid and very convincing. There's actually two times where Sebastian quickly pops up but is easily missed. In the first scene with Ariel, 
He puffs out of the armor helmet on the bottom left hand side, and also puffs out of the chest on the upper right hand side. He's really small, so definitely keep an eye out for him the next time you ride. Number 6. Sunny Eclipse Staying in Magic Kingdom, there's somewhat of a hidden animatronic in Tomorrowland. If you've never eaten at Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe, it's really easy to miss Sunny Eclipse. He made his debut in 1995 and is described as being a galactic lounge lizard that entertains diners at the restaurant through wisecrack banter and eight original songs as he plays his astro organ. His entire set including the music, singing, and banter is about 25 minutes long and plays on a continuous loop throughout the day. You know, I'd still be up there performing on the moon, but I heard it was going broke. It was down to its last quarter! This is one of those animatronics that definitely adds a Disney spin to your dining experience. Next time you're at Magic Kingdom, make a point to stop into Cosmic Rays and catch a performance from Sunny Eclipse. Number 5. Mr. Potato Head Next, we're heading over to Disney's Hollywood Studios, where inside the queue of Toy Story Midway Mania, it's home to a very impressive Mr. Potato Head audio animatronic. Step right up! He made his debut in May of 2008, stands approximately 5 feet tall, and is one of the most fluid and lifelike animatronics at the park. He actually marks a few audio animatronic milestones. Mr. Potato Head was one of the first animatronics that actually moved its lips to form words and vowels, instead of just opening and closing its mouth. I heard that, you hockey puck. He also has the most recorded dialogue of any animatronic ever, with about 20 minutes worth, where cast members can choose which piece to use to interact with guests. He's also the first animatronic to be able to remove a piece of itself. Now if you've recently visited the attraction, you may have realized that Mr. Potato Head has been missing. Well, when Disney was building the ride's third track back in December of 2015, they removed him to make way for the addition. The new Toy Story Land that'll be opening in summer of 2018 at the park will use a brand new entrance into the attraction, and it's rumored that we can expect to see Mr. Potato Head entertaining guests once again in the new queue when the land opens up in just a few months. Number 4. Buff, Max, and Melvin Now in number 8, we mentioned all the country bears but never mentioned Max, Melvin, and Buff. Well, that's because they deserve their own spot since they're a show in itself. Now although the bears deserve your full attention since they're the main focus, Spending the entire show watching the trio on the wall is just as entertaining. They're all fully animated throughout the entire performance and react to everything that happens on stage, whether it's grooving along to the beat, laughing, or being in complete shock and awe during the presence of Teddy Vera who descends from the ceiling. Now even when you're told the show is over, try and stay back to watch Max Melvin and Buff finish the show up. And it might even be worth seeing it twice. Once for all the bears, and then once to watch Buff Max and Melvin on the wall. So long, folks. Number 3. Carnotaurus For the first time on the list, we'll head over to Animal Kingdom where in Dino Land USA, you can find the Carnotaurus animatronic on the attraction Dinosaur. The ride opened with the park on April 22, 1998, and features four Carnotaurus animatronics. Now these figures are all huge. At the time in 1998, they were some of the biggest figures ever produced in a Disney park. Their movements are so fluid and lifelike that you're convinced there's a breathing, living dinosaur right in front of you. Although the ride vehicle stops at both of those animatronics, the entire attraction is extremely dark. It takes the definition of a dark ride to a whole new level of darkness, so the animatronics can be a bit difficult to see, but it's still worth keeping an eye out for all of them. Number 2. Abraham Lincoln Heading back to Magic Kingdom, we'll take a peek into the Hall of Presidents attraction in Liberty Square. The attraction has been around since the park opened in October of 1971, and is currently made up of a cast of 44 different animatronics. But one of the most impressive things to witness, even to this day, is Abraham Lincoln rising from his chair to then give a speech. 
It's done with such ease and fluidity, not to mention that with the most recent refurbishment to the attraction, his features look even more lifelike. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place. Lincoln was one of the first advanced animatronics created by Walt Disney, and even though he rose from his chair when he appeared in Disneyland in 1965, it's still just as impressive seeing it today in 2018 at Walt Disney World over 55 years later. Number 1. Lumiere Staying in Magic Kingdom, we'll move to Fantasyland and take a look at the Lumiere animatronic in Enchanted Tales with Belle. Now, although this attraction is primarily directed towards a younger demographic, if you've never experienced it, you're definitely missing out on one of the most interesting animatronics at Walt Disney World. Lumiere made his debut with the attraction in 2012 and utilizes a projected face along with some of the most fluid movements seen in any animatronic. Due to the small, slim size of the figure, it operates in a slightly different manner than the traditional animatronic. Usually, the mechanisms would be found inside the figure, but for Lumiere, aside from his face, all of his mechanisms are on the outside disguised by the environment around him. As we invited everyone to it's truly Disney magic. Also in the pre-show, Madame Wardrobe is worth paying attention to as well, especially since her mouth actually forms vowels and words. Adding that much more detail to the animation. So, what's your favorite animatronic at Walt Disney World? Either from this list, or maybe one that was mentioned before or hasn't been mentioned at all? Leave a comment down below and start a conversation! If you have any videos from the Disney parks that you'd like to share with us to be used in future videos, follow the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching! Click the TPM icon on the screen to subscribe to this channel, and check out some of these other videos which we're sure you'll like!